Hi everybody, Beanmeister22 here. Hey, today we're going to look at my pet vampire bat, which I got from China. That's right, this is a real bat from China. And if you're going to have a pet bat, and if it's going to come from China, this is probably the safest way to have it. Especially if it's a vampire bat, because you don't want the vampire bat sneaking around your house at night and sucking your blood. Blah. You don't want that happening. I've had this bat for quite some time. I haven't made a video about it. I used it in a video. Remember we made that bat soup or that bat stew last year? Now, I bought this back in May of 2020. Yeah, that's we've had it a while. Yes, it's a real vampire bat. If you look at it closely, you can see his mouth was open. Was he alive when they encased him here in this lucite acrylic resin block? You know, kind of like being encased in carbonite? I, maybe. The dimensions of this block are 7.9 inches by 3.6 inches by 1.6 inches. Why are they oddballed numbers? I'm pretty confident when they take the bats and they put them in these blocks, by the time they're done cutting and polishing the blocks, they measure the blocks and that's the size you get. So if you got this, the size of your block may differ. On Amazon, this is currently unavailable. Yeah, I wonder why. They don't export bats anymore, just bat. So... At the time, I paid $67.77. $67.77? Yeah, but it's a vampire bat of my very own. And in the order, I also bought the Blu-ray of that uh, TV show Chernobyl, and that was $39.99, so the total order was $107.76. Why do you care about that? I don't know. I just thought I'd tell you. Also, not to brag, but on Amazon rankings, for the bestseller ranking, this is number... 380,956. So, on ordering things from Amazon, there was 380,955 items that were ordered better or more than this. Now, under the industrial and scientific ranking, this is number 745. So, you know, we got that going for us, right? And that makes it within the top 1,000. Remember in the old days of YouTube? Where people would change the country they're from? Remember my friend Eden, she, I think she went, said she was from Angola. Because you could change that on your page and you'd get rankings. You were the number one creator for Angola. And, you, you know, you had like 40 views and posted three videos. Yeah, the good old days. Now remember we said this is a Lucite acrylic resin block and... It should be pretty sturdy in there. You know, it says, wash your hands. When I opened it up, there's this thing that said, if this is leaking or found broken, wash your hands immediately, don't touch anything. Thinking, yeah, okay, I'm gonna get right on that. I've had my shot, so I'll probably be okay. Now here's the warning on the Amazon page. The resin is sturdy and durable, not easily broken, but in case it breaks, don't touch. The materials or inside. Remember, this is kind of broken English. If accidentally touch it, please wash with water in time. Now, what's in time? Immediately, as quick as possible, before the virus gets out and gets you. I don't know. But remember Jurassic Park? Yeah, we all remember Jurassic Park. And remember how they got that DNA by that mosquito encased in amber? Remember, we have bugs encased in amber ourselves right here on my shelf. I don't think there's a mosquito in there, but there's spiders. And there's like a mayfly-looking thing. Anyways... Jurassic Park, they drilled into the amber and slurped out some dino DNA. Does that mean with this you could drill into the acrylic block and slurp out some, you know, bad stuff that you don't want to touch? Yeah, I'm just, I'm just saying. Possibility. But with that said, this is a very cool gift. It's a very cool item. And you know, I was just watching Scream Queen season two just the other day and Kirstie Alley has this exact same bat on her desk. You see it in at least two of the episodes. Now granted, the second season of Scream Queens came out in I think 2016. I bought this in 2020, so they were ahead of me, but I didn't get the idea from them because I just recently saw it the second season of Scream Queens, within the last week. So in other words, I found this bat before I knew they found the bat, so I didn't copy them. They could have copied me, went back in time. Either way, I'm glad I have it. And you know, I'm glad the TV show Scream Queens realized how cool this bat was and got the idea from me to put it on Kirstie Alley's desk five years ago. Hey, that's dedication, right? Of course, if the Chanel's 
knew they could have slurped the bat stuff out of this resin black and they could have used it, you know, just a thought. But I digress. So, like I said, very cool item. It's not available now, but I'm pretty sure if you look around, you could find one of these. Maybe not from China, maybe from somewhere else, because vampire bats, I believe, come from South America, Central America, Transylvania, possibly Pennsylvania. Uh, yeah, but so, very cool item. It's cool on the desk. I got it on my, actually I have it on my shelf. I don't have my desk like Kirsty Alley has, but I got it on my shelf. And if by chance a real vampire comes to my house to suck my blood, blah, they'll see this and they'll say, Oh, this is one of my brothers. I will not mess with you. Yeah, or they'll say, Hey, you have encapsulated one of my brothers. And if that's the case, I'm going to have to get Guillermo to come and help me fend off a vampire attacker onslaught. <laughs> All right, so... Cool item, not cool item. Do you want one? Do you already have one? Do you think it'd be a great gift? Would you like to get it as a gift? Leave your comments in the comment section. As always, thanks for watching. And today, we referenced Scream Queens TV show, second season. We also referenced the vampire comedy, What We Do in the Shadows. Great show. And both of these shows... Since I don't have TV, both of these shows had been in existence for quite a while before I actually saw them. On DVD and Blu-ray? Yeah, I have a whole other story about that later. Alright, so leave me comments in the comment section. As always, thanks for watching. Beanmeister 22, the most dangerous man on YouTube.